Organic residue analysis is a method we use to identify the composition of ancient, organic, amorphous materials. These can be natural products such as pitches, tars or resins, or food molecules derived from cooking such as waxes, oils or fats. Pottery, such as this prehistoric piece from Korea, are perfect for residue analysis. During cooking, food builds up on the surface of the pot, but also gets deposited within the porous ceramic. Unless burnt on, the food residue on the surface doesn't survive, but the material that gets trapped within the ceramic can persist for thousands of years. It's these trace residues that we need to get to by drilling into the pot. Although the pot may look clean, we have to be sure there is no contamination. We use a clean workspace and remove the surface before drilling deeper into the pot to collect the sample. We take the powder, add an organic solvent and mix it thoroughly. We then place the sample in a sonic bath. The solvent dissolves the compounds called lipids, which is the general term we use for fats, oils and waxes. The solvent pulls them away from the fabric of the pot, similar to the way detergents remove food stains from clothes. Once we have this lipid rich mixture, we separate it out from the ceramic powder until we have an extract that we can reduce and concentrate before starting the analysis. The extract is placed in a gas chromatograph. This instrument takes the complex mixture of different lipids and separates them out so they can be detected and identified by a mass spectrometer. What we are looking to do is to identify diagnostic lipids, molecules that are specific to certain plants or animals and can therefore tell us what the pot originally contained. Here, for example, we have a hunter-gatherer pot from Japan. Now we know that in Japan, pottery was developed much earlier than other parts of the world. And we've been trying to work out the reasons for this using organic residue analysis. Our results have shown that pots like this, but also much earlier pottery, was used pretty much consistently for processing fish. Not only is it remarkable that lipids survived this long in pottery, but the results suggest that early ceramics may have been initially produced for very specific reasons. So while the forms and decorations of pottery have been studied by archaeologists for centuries, organic residue analysis provides us with a totally new insight into the use of pottery that was just unimaginable a few years ago.